Hello once again everyone, it is Jello here and today we are going to change the thermal paste of my laptop using the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. Now why would you want to change the thermal paste of your laptop? Well over time the thermal paste of your laptop dries up which causes your temperatures to go up which is not good and this would potentially decrease the lifespan of your laptop and that's why you'd want to change it. If you don't know what thermal paste is, it's what helps facilitate the transfer of heat from your CPU to the heatsink. Without the thermal paste, the transfer of heat may not be very effective and of course would lead to permanent damage to your CPU. So today I'm going to be replacing the thermal paste of my laptop which is the Dell 7559 which I've had for about three and a half years now. I've never really opened it up except for adding some RAM and a hard drive to it but I've never really tore it down. So today we're going to open it up and replace the thermal paste and see if it helps. The next day. So replacing the thermal paste of my laptop didn't really change, but the fans were quieter though. I was expecting lower temperatures, but even before the repasting, the temperatures were actually not bad to begin with. I even did a second application, but the temperatures were still the same. So should you change the thermal paste of your laptop? Well, if the temperatures are bad, like in the high 80s to the low 90s under load, then you probably should. You can check the temperatures by using a software called HW Monitor. Anyway, I'm going to do a follow-up video and take it a step further by using the Thermal Grizzly Conductinod. So uh, stay tuned. Like this video if you like it. If you did not like it, that's okay. Subscribe if you haven't so you won't miss any updates. And that is it for today and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.